Republican Senator Tom Cotton sits on the Senate Intelligence Committee. He says Hillary Clinton should face the same consequences that any federal employee who behaves similarly would face, including criminal prosecution. His name has been mentioned as a potential running mate for Donald Trump. Senator Cotton joins us from Washington this morning. Senator, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Congressman Mike Turner has called for an independent investigation, a special prosecutor to be appointed here. Is that something you agree with? Well, I've long ago stated that we should have an independent voice, particularly after Loretta Lynch met with Bill Clinton, the spouse of the target and the target himself of an FBI investigation through the Clinton Foundation. I think she should pass on decision-making authority to the next person in the chain of command. But do, do but you even think more that can than happen, the legal Senator decision Cotton? here? From, from a legal perspective, do you think this is over now? Uh, there's well, there's no reason why Attorney General Lynch can't step aside and at least give the final decision-making authority to her deputy. But I would say for, more damning than what the... Uh, FBI director recommended as a legal matter yesterday is the facts of the case that he laid out. We now know that Hillary Clinton told repeated lies about her use of an unsecured server, including national, our most sensitive national security secrets. This is a long pattern with Hillary Clinton going back to the 1990s and investigations into her husband's administrations, into the lies she told to the faces of the, fa the families of the Benghazi fallen. And I just don't think the American people are going to trust her after yesterday to handle our nation's most sensitive secrets and to be the commander in chief. Donald Trump called the decision by the FBI uh, supporting that this system is rigged. Do you agree with that? Well, Director Comey made a point in his speech that I would, suggest, that I would say suggests that the system is rigged if Hillary Clinton faces no consequences whatsoever. He said that even though he did not believe criminal charges were warranted, which is very different from saying no crime was committed, that any other person would face serious security or administrative consequences. Let me say what that means in plain English. It means they would lose their job and lose their security clearance. The only job in the federal government that Hillary Clinton could get is President of the United States. And after yesterday, I don't think the American people are going to give her that job. Well, Hillary Clinton went on to criticize Donald Trump, obviously, uh, saying that he's, quote, simply unqualified and temperamentally unfit to be our president. What do you think makes Donald Trump more qualified to be president? Well, Donald Trump may occasionally say things that are controversial or even objectionable to some, but those are words. These are actions from Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton exposed our nation's most sensitive national security secrets to foreign adversaries. We now know that it's almost certain that they, were, that they got access to her private server. We even know that she took her unsecured personal email devices to the, to the territories of hostile powers. To give you a sense of just how amazing that is, I, as a mere junior senator, never take my personal electronic devices to any country, not even to Canada, much less to adversarial countries. Hillary Clinton's judgment to be the commander in chief, in my, question, in my opinion, is now disqualified. But Senator, even as a uh, mere junior senator, you are being considered, um, according to many reports, uh, for the potential uh, vice presidential pick by Donald Trump. Um, you said before that uh, you're not being vetted. Uh, do you think that's changed? Would you be open to that job? No, I, I am not being vetted, uh, and I have no reason to believe I would be uh, selected. Uh, I'm very proud and happy to be serving the people of Arkansas in the Senate, and I look forward to continuing to serve them, to continue to try to make our country safer and more prosperous, and to have the time to be a good husband and be a good dad for my 14-month-old well, son. If, if Donald Trump asked you, would you say yes? I, uh, I'm not going to speculate about hypotheticals. I don't believe that will happen, though. Then who should Donald Trump pick as VP? That's a choice, choice for him to make. All right, Senator Cotton, thank you very much for joining us from Washington. Appreciate it.